Hello there. Today's topic is a to i function. So this is a function. Okay. This a means ASCII. 2 means we will be converting to an integer. Okay. So we will be converting ASCII to the integer. And this is a function already given in the C and C++ language. So let's see first the use of this function. Then we'll go and create our own function of this type because lots of Interviews ask you to implement a to i function. Okay, so the use of this function is it will convert your string into an integer, but that string should contain the numbers like 1, 5, 9, 0, 8. Okay, like this. So this is a string. If you will convert this into integer, it will still look like 1, 5, 9, 0, 8. But this is integer part, so you can now apply any addition, minus, multiplication, and all those arithmetic operations on this, okay? Because this is integer, okay? You cannot do all those things here because this is a character pointer, okay? So we want this to this. Generally, we get this because when we are dealing with websites and web development cases, if you are passing something from website to your C code. Everything generally comes in a string format. Okay, so you have to convert it into the integer format and you have to use that. That's where we use this A to I. That's what I can recall where I use this. Okay, so this was the use of ASCII to integer function. Let's look at the code for this. So this is your code now. As you can see, we have this particular string. And yeah, I forgot to mention that string could be a minus also. Okay. So this is minus one, two, three, four, and this is a character array. We will pass that character array to my a to i function. Okay. So this is the code for converting your character pointer into the integer. Okay. So these are some variables we'll be using. So this, ultimately, this is our result. This is our sign bit, and this is the index what we are currently pointing to that character array. Okay. So these are just simply initialization. Now let's come to this point. If your input is minus, then str's zero position will be holding this character. Okay. So zeroth location will be having this particular character. Okay. So yes, it is true. So we'll do sign is equal to minus one and we'll increment our pointer of i. So now we'll be pointing to the next location. Now i is one and we'll start from one until unless we get the null. Okay. And this is a very basic technique we use to create your integer from your character pointer. Okay. The only thing you have to take care of is this one. Okay. You are taking the character and minus character zero. This is the key to convert your string into integer. Okay. So let me explain this little further. If your string is like one, two, three, and at a time you will be picking one. So this is like this one minus zero. Okay. And this will produce one and this is an integer one. Okay. How this is happening? Actually, you're not doing this character minus. Actually, this zero is uh, 48 in the ASCII and this one is 49. Okay. So 49 minus 48 will result into one. Okay. So if you're zero is a character this one two three four five okay so this is an ascii value this is the character so if you will minus zero with any of the character you will get that difference only that's why we do this okay so this is where the character will be and you will do the minus of zero but don't forget this zero is not simple zero this is a character zero okay so if your i is one and your string which is passed is this one like minus one two three and four then your i is pointing to this location and initially your result is zero zero into ten plus str i which is one minus zero will be zero so your result will be one okay in first case then we'll increment our i we'll go back inside this now we are pointing at 2. So it is going to be 1 into 10 plus 2. Okay. 
one is because this res res is updated right so new value will be this one res is equal to this one so it is going to be 12 okay we do this trick so that your number will get incremented okay by digits you are just including one more digit into that initially it was one okay then it has to be 12 right 12 is nothing but 1 into 10 plus 2 now if it should be 1 2 3 then currently if it is 12 you have to multiply it by 10 to make 1 2 0 which is 3 digit now you add 3 so it will make 1 2 3 okay so this is kind of a trick we use to increase our integer by digits okay and just simply this will add the number inside that and we will get our integer okay and lastly we are multiplying the sign bit i mean the sign if it is minus one it will become minus i mean the result will become minus if we didn't went inside this function let's suppose this minus is not there then we will not go inside this function and just simply hold one here and one into something will result into the same number and we'll return that number okay so let's quickly see the working of this one so if this is the code first let's compile the code see you have got minus one two three four and see i'm printing value here okay and let's suppose you are having some another string like this we are getting into value one and two and we're just printing the addition so it will be five 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 but minus five 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 okay and if we are keeping this one as positive and this one as negative the result would be 3087 okay that's it so i think you got the point here the main thing was just to remember if you want to convert any character like this is a character right if this is a character one you want to convert it into integer one just do this minus with zero okay and now if you will store it in some integer i that i will hold the integer part of one okay because we have this ascii value like this and we do the minus of this one with this one we'll get the difference as one okay so that's the trick and nothing more to understand this this function and all can be implemented in any ways we have not included any check here like if your string what you're passing is holding some non integer value maybe if your string is holding like this is like 1 2 k 3 c okay so if you will try to convert this one into string that string will not be perfect because we are having k and c here okay this is 3 so we have to check that also but the main point was how to convert that and this is the way of doing that okay so thanks for watching